the Frugal Precision Farmer video series, where we'll discuss precision farming practices that can help you make better decisions, more money, and work smarter without breaking the bank. Today, let's talk about using Drone Deploy to record images of your fields. Now that you're comfortable with the basic flight of your UAV, let's get this thing set up to pay its way on the farm with a Drone Deploy mission. The basic process through Drone Deploy is to set up a field boundary, set the pattern altitude, check all the aircraft and mission parameters, launch, fly the field, land, download images, and upload to the Drone Deploy website. Let's talk through each of these steps and the lessons I've learned. Power on the controller, aircraft, and start the Drone Deploy app. You'll need an internet connection with your tablet to get started. The Drone Deploy app will detect your location and set a basic boundary for you. Start with a small section of the field for your first flight, say five acres or so. Drag the boundary nodes on the map to define your field boundary. Don't make your first mission too complicated. To avoid creating multiple boundary nodes, those are those little white dots, zoom in and pan around to define the boundary. Click on the gear in the lower left corner to set your pattern altitude. For your first flight, 250 feet or so is a good number, as long as it clears any overhead obstacles. When your mission is planned and ready, set the UAV in an open area for takeoff. Give yourself 15 feet or so on all sides of clear sky just in case the GPS is off a little that day. Click the green button in the lower right corner of the app to start the checks. After all the checks have cleared, click the green button again to launch. If you see an error here, look up the error in the Drone Deploy documentation or forum. My first issue here was a camera failure where it did not take a test picture. I learned that the micro SD card must have at least one picture in the DCIM folder for Drone Deploy to work, so make it part of your process to leave one image in the folder. I label my image, do not delete. Many failures to launch can be corrected by restarting everything, controller, aircraft, app. So give the restart a try before heading back inside if you have any trouble. After launch, the UAV will fly the field, taking images, and land in roughly the same spot as it launched from. When it lands, turn off the aircraft, then the app, and then the controller. Pull out the micro SD card, find your card adapter, and take a look at the images. As you scroll through the images, they should be straight down shots of your field, and make sense as the field was flown. Occasionally, the UAV will continue to shoot pictures as it flies home and lands, which are cool to scroll through, but useless to drone deploy, so just delete those files off the card. Copy all of the field images onto your computer and create a set of folders to keep yourself organized. My hierarchy of folders is named after the farm, field, then date. At the same time, I keep a backup copy on an external hard drive, same file structure. After you've verified a successful copy, delete the images off the micro SD card, reinsert it in the UAV, and get ready for the next flight. The final step in the process is to upload to the Drone Deploy website. When in the field, jot down a list of time and field flown, as they'll be listed in Drone Deploy chronologically. Name your field first, then select the upload box and start the upload process. I like to upload my images overnight so I don't overload my internet for the other people in the house. Finally, celebrate your success in completing your first drone deploy mission. There will be many more to come. Thanks for watching. As an agricultural UAV user, you may fly under the recreational rules, which means taking photographs and videos for your own personal use. Taking photos or videos for compensation or sale to another individual would be considered a commercial operation. Remember to visit knowbeforeyoufly.org to review important safety rules for your UAV before you fly. Get your UAV registered using the FAA website before you hit the skies. Good luck with your flying. Thank you.